Hi guys, Ben here from Everyday Gadget Reviews and we have got the new Fogger version 4.1 from freshmist.co.uk. So a big thank you for Dean and David for sending this out for a review. Now this is a 22mm Atty which you run in a dual call setup and I'll show you how to build this down below later on and how to wick it. Now one thing about this is you need to use a minimal amount of cotton or I'll show you exactly how much cotton that I do use. It's a full stainless steel atomizer with a Pyrex tank holding 6 millimeters of 6 mil of juice which is enough juice to probably get you through the full day. It's got a fully adjustable airflow control ring so you can tighten it up if you screw the control ring down to give you a tighter draw and then scroll it back up for a looser draw. Now I've got some peach monsoon in here that Fresh Mist also sent me and the flavour that I'm getting from the Fogget is absolutely excellent from a RTA, a rebuildable tank atomizer. It's much much cleaner and much crisper than the likes of a K-Fun. So what we're going to do now is go down to the table I'll strip it all apart, show you all the pieces, because there are a few different pieces in this, and um, show you the deck, we'll build it, and then we'll come back up and I'll tell you my thoughts at the end. So this is the packaging that the Fogger V4.1 comes in, and if we open up the packaging, you can see that you get a little goodie bag, which has got some spare O-rings, some silica wick, some extra screws, and um, two pre-built coils. You also get a mini screwdriver which is um, Phillips on one end and then flathead on the other end and I quite like these screwdrivers you can attach them to a keychain so you've all, always got one and then last but not least you get the Fogger V4 atomizer itself now like I said in the introduction this is a 22 millimeter diameter atomizer and it holds 6 mil of juice um, in this part here it weighs in at around 90 grams and top to bottom without the drip tip is around 57 centimeters so if we just get this zoomed in all properly you'll be able to see that it has the Fogger logo just engraved here okay and then you get these rings as well at the bottom you have a copper um, centre pin which is fully adjustable and then you also get your screw hole um, for adding your e-juice as well. Now if we strip this down into its necessary parts, first part is you get the drip tip and then if we screw this off you get your top cap, you get this large Pyrex glass tank the top of your chimney section with an o-ring to stop any leaks and this is what your top cap screws into you have to apologise that it's got a bit of e-juice on it still the bottom part of your chimney which has got fogger laser engraved in there Let's see if I can get this part off the bottom part which has got an o-ring which holds your glass tank in your airflow control ring and then the deck itself so if we take a bit better look at the deck and if we just zoom in here so this is the deck and you have to build this in a dual coil setup. On here at the moment, I've got a 1.1 dual coil setup, so that's 30 and a half wraps on each coil um, directly over those air holes. Now, your air holes come up through here and then down at the bottom here, so you've got two air holes either side, and they're about one 
and a half mil in diameter each and then you've got your positive and negative posts at the top which is where your coils um, connect to and then just around the sides you've got these little channels which is where your wick goes so what I'm going to do now is we're going to place this on top of a mod and we'll use the Black Hawk Panzer that you saw in a previous video and if you can see the coils and we'll try and get this all wicked up on camera and it's not the easiest thing to do but before I do that I'm just going to put the airflow control ring straight on and then I'm also going to put this ring on as well and then we're partially built it just saves knocking anything now you'll be able to see that this is all coiled up properly and if we give it a short blast you should see those coils light up nice and evenly and at the moment one's glowing a little bit hotter than the other because it has had some e juice through so we're just going to give it a little squeeze and give this one a squeeze as well and there you go you've got those glowing quite evenly and quite nicely again do the locking ring back up and then we'll get this coiled so with the fogger range you hardly need any wicking material at all and if I show you that is going to be the length of wick I'm using and I'm just using some organic cotton here and you just want to roll it very very gently in your hands and I mean you do want to roll it you don't want to twist it at all and we're just going to try and poke it through and then grab it then we're just going to have to cut some off the other side and like I said you need a very very little amount of cutting in here for this to work properly um, and as you can see I only used a tiny tiny amount and then I even had to cut some off and then we'll do the other side as well and we're going to be using some of the fresh mist premium quality e-liquid and this is going to be some peach monsoon it's at um, 11 milligrams of nicotine and it's a 70 30 pg split and i've got a review coming on the channel of this very very shortly so once you've done that you just want to soak your coils so you can maneuver them get that wick in place make sure they're nicely all lubed up with juice as you can see there and then we're going to just get a little screwdriver or a little drill bit and you want the tiniest amount of cotton to be pushed into those channels as you can see there there's hardly any cotton it's not like building um, a K fun or anything like that where you need quite a lot um, of cotton in comparison to this you just need the tiniest 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 amount um, in here once you've got that we'll just make sure it's still firing and this peach monsoon liquid smells absolutely delicious it really really is tasty back on there and then screw your chimney section up put your glass tank on and then your top cap make sure it's all aligned and screw that down nice and tight on there and then the glass will move a little bit you want to make sure it's nice and tight but not too tight that it's going to start scratching your tank and there it is your fogger um, be 4.1 all built. I'm going to take that off the Black Hawk Panzer. And if you want to see a video review of the Black Hawk Panzer, if you click on the mod right now, that'll take you to 
the video review of the Blackhawk Panzer, also from freshmist.co.uk, which is the same guys that sent over this Fogger V4 as well. So there you saw me build the Fogger version 4.1 from freshmist.co.uk and as you can see there are quite a few parts in this. You've got the airflow control ring, the drip tip, the top cap, the two chimney sections and then the deck itself. Now you also saw how little cotton that I used in building this and that's because if you use too much you are going to get dry hits or the tank can flood. You've got that little screw in the bottom, it is filled from the bottom and, and you need to make sure that you keep that o-ring on that screw to stop it from leaking as well. The bottom you saw that there is a fully adjustable copper pin and that gives great conductivity from whatever mod that you're using. Now I've been using the Fogger version 4.1 for around two weeks now and I have to say and like I said at the start of this video it gives off an excellent crisp and clean flavour especially using the organic cotton. Due to consumption it wicks really really well um, and that flavour just comes through and um, I've had no problems with dry hitting on this and that is down to the amount of cotton that I use and just making sure that that little bit of cotton that you do use is correctly in those little channels not all the way but to the bottom but just enough so the juice can flow up there and then start wicking nicely now the great thing about the Fogger Vision 4.1 is this adjustable airflow control so this is off the loosest drawer And then if I scroll this down, or screw it down I should say, all the way to the bottom, this is the tightest row. And that really, really is a tight draw, you're hardly getting anything from that, you really do have to kind of suck it in. Now even on the loosest draw you're not going to be able to do a direct lung inhale well I can't anyway however you can get quite a large amount of vapour and a good intake now the airflow control ring also changes the flavour of whatever juice you get when I tighten it down I'm getting much more intense flavour from the peach monsoon e-juice and then you can use your thicker VG juices in this as well now my recommendations for the Fogger version 4.1 is absolutely great RTA, you're going to have enough juice in there to last you all day. I've had no problems from dry hits or with it leaking and I have to say you just have to use the correct amount of cotton to stop that from happening. A great feel, it is quite a chunky atomizer, however that's due to the amount of liquid that it holds and overall an absolutely great and I really do mean great vapour production from this and also probably one of the best RTAs that I've used for taste as well. So that's my review for the Fogger version 4.1 from freshmist.co.uk. Big thank you to Dean and David for sending this out for review. Um, you can also see that I'm using it on the Black Hawk Panzer mod and there's also a video a review on this on the channel. So if you click at the end you'll be able to see um, the review of this and I'll also put a link in the description below. So thanks very much for watching. We'll be bringing you more mod atties, builds and tutorials on vaping and everything gadgets real soon. So thanks very much for watching and keep vaping on.